Welcome back. In this video I want to explore the question, what is Splunk? It has been said that Splunk is the search engine of your IT data. It's been said that Splunk is a business intelligence tool. It's been said that Splunk is a machine learning and data analytics tool. And I'm here to show you that it's all of these things. It's operational intelligence, data visualization, alerting and reporting, and investigation. Think about all the data and all of the data producers in a typical IT environment. You might have a virtualization platform, a storage platform, some stuff in the cloud, some different operating systems, maybe a Hadoop data infrastructure. And all these things are producing data. They're very good at documenting exactly what's happening to them at any given moment. The problem is most of that stuff is boring to humans and so it gets ignored until there's a problem. And when there's a problem, we feverishly go through all this data trying to figure out exactly what happened. Well, Splunk changed all that. Because with Splunk, we can constantly be forwarding that data into what Splunk calls an indexer, which categorizes and applies metadata to the data, and then finally to search heads, which act as the user interface and allow users to create dashboards, alerts, and reports based on that data. So instead of being reactive, we can now be proactive. Consider a typical machine data log file. Now this is not one, this is just random characters, but often machine data looks like random characters to humans, it's not meaningful. But with Splunk it becomes meaningful because we can train Splunk to understand what this data means. Suppose we know that this is the system name. Well, once we tell that to Splunk, every time it encounters that, it knows, oh, that's the system name, and it's going to tag that as the system name. Likewise, we might know that that piece of data is the system state, and that one is the system geolocation. Now we have data that we can take action on. We can make visualizations and reports from. So is Splunk really a BI tool? Well, BI tools rely on structured data for the most part. Their primary sources tend to be databases. They're usually not real-time, but they do have a couple of things that, that are better than Splunk, and that is their user-friendliness tends to be a little bit better. You could jump on Tableau, for example, and create some nice visualizations with little to no training. Splunk can handle unstructured and structured data. Its primary sources are IT systems, but it consumes data from anything, databases, IT systems, IoT sensors, almost anything you can imagine. And it does it in near real time. Now there's no such thing as real, real time, but Splunk's pretty close. I would rate Splunk's user friendliness as a 3 out of 5, but after this course, for you, it will be a 5 out of 5. And Splunk is a little bit pricey, but very worth it. Thanks for joining me in this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.